Shoot, we're getting blasted over here. Shoot, 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 shoot. This is just one of those days, man. Look at that. Look at that. This is just one of those days, my friend. There he goes. All right. Another beautiful bonnet, my friends. Heck, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good grief, man. Yeah. So we got the spot, and I think we had this guy on, but I think a shark ate him on the way in, you guys. I mean, he's still twitching. This guy was alive like 10 seconds ago. Fourth shark of the day. Very sharky day. Holy moly crap, what is that? You guys, we just got hammered. Just got hammered. This has gotta be another shark or a pompano. Holy moly, that was a hit. Our whole entire setup just about got pulled out of the rod holder. We're doubled up too, we got another fish. We got another fish to my, on the setup to my right. But this is a good one right here, friends. This might be the fifth shark of the day or the first pompano of the day. Hit it like a ton of bricks. Now it's fighting more like a shark. Yeah, now it's fighting more like a nice shark. You guys, this is just one of those days, man. Look at that, look at that. This is just one of those days, my friends. So yeah, it's another shark, it's a good one. So when you, <laughs> when you get to experience days like this, just remember how much fun they are and how much they you know, mean to you because they don't happen all the time. If you went out and crushed it like this every single time you fish, you would expect it. And I'm not saying, you know, you shouldn't expect to catch fish, you should. But look at this thing, man, he is fired up. But you just can't expect to light the world on fire every trip. This guy's still pulling drag on us, folks. This is probably the biggest one of the day. I think it's a bonnet, but I'm not sure. We're gonna play this one a little bit lighter because I think he is bigger. He was thrashing around on the surface up there. And man, the hit on this thing, he just destroyed it. I wish I would have had the camera running when he first hit. I'm not sure how much of the, of the hit you guys will see, but all right, he's coming in with the wave, coming in with the wave, coming in. Come on, buddy. Nice bonnet, you guys. Nice fish. The day of the bonnet head sharks, man. All right, buddy, let's get you set up here. Just can't get that hook out of me. All right, hook is out on this beautiful, beautiful bonnet. Beautiful bonnet head, my friends. Biggest one of the day, I'd say, or at least as big as the biggest one. So we'll get him sent back here. See ya. Well, you guys, we just doubled up here. I didn't even realize we had anything. But we just doubled up. We got another spot. And, oh, look at this. Yeah, so we got the spot, and I think we had this guy on, but I think a shark ate him on the way in, you guys. I mean, he's still twitching. This guy was alive like 10 seconds ago. So, yeah, I think we got sharked on the way in, but we did get a spot, so we'll probably keep that guy and uh, let the shark have the rest of this. See ya. That was wild. And here's our spot. Ah, he's too small, man. He's a lot smaller than those other two. So we'll just put this guy back. See ya. Shoot, 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 shoot. Another shark, another shark, you guys. Heck yeah. Man, they're everywhere right now. Yeah, they are every freaking where. You guys. Yeah, <laughs> I see him out there on the surface, carrying on. Another good bonnet. Another really good bonnet. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am worn out. I think this is like the seventh shark we've caught today. Like the fifth one, at least, that's had size to it. I think we caught a couple tiny uh, bonnet heads, if I remember correctly. There's been a lot, so. Uh, okay, here he is. Here he is. Wash him in with this wave. Come on. Come on. This might be a sharp nose. I think it's another sharp nose, you guys. Okay, hook is out on that guy. 
Beautiful sharp nose, my friends. Beautiful sharp nose shark. Just an epic freaking day of fishing. Heck yeah, my friends. Shoot, we're getting blasted over here. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh yeah, we got another shark on. We're doubled up on sharks. We got, <laughs> we got another shark on you guys. Oh my gosh. Unfreaking real. Unfreaking real. There he is, my friends. Yeah, come on. Come on. Oh, he's, he shook the hook right there. He shook the hook right there. And we also have a jack too. Oh, that's hilarious. That shark broke off. But we got a jack. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Oh, broke him off. Dang, got it. Broke us off right there. I think that's gonna be the end for us today, friends. We just got broke off. All righty, my friends, that is gonna do it for the fishing portion of this show. Wow, have not had a day like this in a while. And not what I was anticipating. Um, I'm not surprised to see sharks at all, but I just hadn't been on them lately. And so it's kind of the thing that's, it, it was not in the forefront of my mind. I literally was like, yeah, we're gonna come out here and catch pompano. But uh, that was not in the cards for us today. But some beautiful sharks, my friends. Uh, and we lost a couple too, but um, I think five big bonnets, four or five big bonnets, one for the cooler. And yeah, two Atlantic sharp nose, maybe three. I, I honestly don't know. And then a bunch of spot, whiting and croaker. Um, God is good, my friends. And the fishing was on fire today. As I mentioned earlier, just enjoy these trips when you have them. They're not always gonna be like this, but when you're dialed in, on this on the fish man oh man surf fishing is like nothing else my friend so i hope you enjoyed the fishing now let's go back and do a little catch and cook all right friends here's our beautiful bonnet head shark you can do this two ways you can stake them and just make cuts like this through the whole shark they don't have um bones they just have cartilage one big thing of cartilage that runs all the way down or you can fillet them this one i think we're just going to fillet so let's get into it So there's one, not quite sure how we're going to do this side, let's see, oh, yeah. there we go. All right, there we go. Alrighty, my friends, here's our beautiful shark filet. Let's do some fried shark nuggets. Inspired by Ace videos, so if you haven't watched his Catch Clean Cooked, you gotta watch him, man, he's the best. Alrighty, my friends, welcome to the cooking portion of the show. We're gonna start with the spot, because I've never had it before. Um, I realize those were small fish. Spot don't get huge, but you can definitely get some meat on them, so check this out. Here are our spot filets. Yeah, I realize they're a little small, but again, we're going to try this. We've never tried a spot before. And we're going to hit it with Chef Paul Prudhomme's Magic Seasoning Blends, the Redfish Magic. Booyah. All right. We're not going to do this too heavy um, because I do want to taste this fish. So we're just going to do pretty light coating right there. Boom. All right. Our butter is all nice and hot and ready. Let's get these fillets in there. I did remove the scales from these, my friends. They spot have a ton of scales. So definitely be careful of that. But other than that, this meat looks good, y'all. Look at that curling up like that. Beautiful. All right, these are small fillets, so just one minute on each side ought to do it. All right, these guys ought to be ready, y'all. Let's get them off. All right, y'all, I'm kind of pumped for this. Here is our spot. It, I know it's tiny, but this looks really good. And I like the way this cooked up. So let's go ahead and see what we're working with here. Oh yeah, 
this looks pretty solid. It's a very delicate fish. So think like whiting um, along with the same, same lines. The meat's very, very delicate. Okay. The flavor's great. Um, yeah, it's really mild, which does not surprise me. Uh, it's very white flesh meat. And with it being that delicate, that's usually a good sign. So let's try a little bit more. Yeah, it's almost like, I don't know. Texturally, it's a little, it's a little soft for me. The skin gives it just a little bit of crunch. So if I do spot again, I'll probably deep fry it. Honestly, give it a little bit more crunch because it's, it's just very delicate. Great but other than fish, that. man. So awesome. Yeah, so that spot was pretty good. Not going to lie. Uh, but let's cook up this shark. Man, I love shark. I used to keep, keep them a little more often than I do these days. But um, now and then, uh, shark is a great treat. It's just so much different than, uh, you know, most fish. It doesn't taste like fish. But anyway, just babbling now. So let's, uh, I'll, I'll show you what I'm going to do with this stuff, okay? All right, we got our Louisiana classic fry breading mix. This is good stuff right here. Love this stuff. We're going to use this in tandem with the Willingham's World Champion Wham Seasoning. This is their Lost at Sea offering. And this stuff is really good on fish, y'all. I love this stuff, all right? We don't want it to go too crazy with this stuff, but we do want to get a little flavor on this shark. The shark has really good flavor itself, you guys. So if you haven't tried it before, I, I really encourage you to, when you first try it, just cook it simply, season it simply, until you learn how you like it. Uh, it's just so different from, from fish that uh, you, gotta, you gotta be, you know, you gotta just try out what you like. So that's plenty of this seasoning right here. I'm not gonna show you all this, but I'm just gonna show you how I do it. So just quick in the egg wash, press it into the breading mix. Just make sure it is fully coated. Yeah, and this is ready to roll. You can, you can do it twice if you want. You can run it through again, through the egg wash and into the breading. I'm just gonna do it once, I think, this time. Alrighty, my friends, let's do this. We got our oil nice and hot, and let's get our shark nuggets going here. We'll probably do these for about two or three minutes on each side. I haven't cooked these in so long. I kind of forget how long, but I don't think they'll take much longer than that. But shark is a little bit hardier of a flesh than fish, so let's keep that in mind when you're cooking it. So let's go. All right, y'all, these look amazing. Let's get these out of the frying pan and get these ready to eat. Oh yeah. Gosh, I'm stoked for this. You guys, I really, I haven't had shark in a long time. All right, friends, let's dig in on this beautiful shark. Oh yeah, okay. So the texture of the shark's really good. It's like, it's very meaty. It's like a steak or something. And um, if you take care of it, the flavor is amazing. It doesn't taste like shark. It doesn't taste like it smells. You know what I mean? You get a little tiny bit of that, but not much. But you, you, you have to take care of these fish, my friends. Brain it right away. Cut the tail. And then, and then gut it after it's bled out. And put it on freaking ice, okay? You've got to take care of these sharks. But, uh... Yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this catch, clean, and cook. What a great day of fishing. Really appreciate y'all tuning in, and we will see you next time on the Space Coast Fishing Experience. Cheers, y'all.